It would be challenging to encounter an individual who has delved into deep and profound contemplation regarding the vastness of outer space within our universe and not experienced an overwhelming sense of bone-chilling terror. The boundless expanse of empty space, the existence of terrifying black holes capable of obliterating matter, and the multitude of enigmatic exoplanets scattered across unfathomable distances all contribute to an impression of unattainability and mystery. Today, we shall acquaint you with six remarkable exoplanets possessing conditions that resemble nothing short of a nightmarish inferno as they drift through space in complete isolation, some cunningly eluding the scrutiny of astronomers. First on our list is Koro 7 Bits, a peculiar exoplanet known for its exceedingly unconventional precipitation, where no umbrella, except one forged from titanium, would prove useful. Picture a planet where rocks rain incessantly from the skies. This extraordinary celestial body is slightly larger than Earth, with an estimated age of approximately 1.5 billion years. Remarkably, it is relatively close to us, a mere 489 light-years away. Initially, when Koro 7 bits was discovered in 2019, scientists considered it the first rocky exoplanet bearing resemblance to our own Earth. However, it is deemed uninhabitable, boasting a 0% probability of sustaining life. Should you ever be fortunate enough to witness a sunrise on this desolate planet, it would mark your final experience as the rays of the morning star, Koro 7, emanating from the Monoceros or Unicorn constellation, would reduce you to ashes the moment the sun breaches the horizon. The planet's close proximity to its star, approximately 60 times closer than our distance from the sun, contributes to an overwhelmingly brighter sunrise. In essence, the apparent size of the Koro 7 star appears 360 times larger than our perception of the sun. The scorching side of the planet can reach temperatures of up to 4,700 degrees Fahrenheit, 2,600 degrees Celsius, causing rocks to melt and vaporize upon contact. Subsequently, the vaporized rock rises to the upper atmosphere, where condensation occurs, transforming the vapors into fine gravel. During the passage of colder fronts, these gravel fragments precipitate and fall to the ground, resulting in what can only be described as literal rock rain. Delving deeper, some theoretical models suggest the presence of an entire lava ocean on this nightmarish planet. Compounding its inhospitable nature, Koro 7 bits is tidally locked, with one side perpetually facing its star, engulfed in fire and sulfur, while the other side remains frigidly cold, with surface temperatures plunging as low as minus 390 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 235 degrees Celsius. Astronomers posit that Koro 7 bits initially formed as a gas giant, surpassing Earth's size by a factor of 100. However, as it gradually migrated closer to its star, the gas envelope dissipated under the influence of stellar winds until only the rocky core remained. A lamentable fate for Koro 7 bits, unfolding amidst its current terrifying existence. Nevertheless, we hope the harsh conditions of this world haven't deterred your curiosity as we now journey to the next planet on our list. While the following horrifying world may not possess the same infernal environment as Koro 7 bits, it undeniably belongs to the category of destinations one would wish to avoid at all costs. Setting foot on J1407, V would entail navigating an unending belt of rock and ice, an intimidating prospect in itself. Drawing a tempting parallel, this colossal gas giant is often likened to our very own Saturn, due to the presence of immense rings encircling it. However, the rings around J1407 dwarf those of Saturn by a staggering 200-fold. To put it into perspective, while Saturn's largest ring has a radius of approximately 300,000 miles, J1407 beasts 30 rings span a staggering distance of over 110 million miles an astonishing 20% farther than the Earth-Sun distance, which measures 93 million miles, equivalent to 1.2 astronomical units. 
These gargantuan rings only form as a result of the catastrophic destruction of a planet's satellites. In the case of J1407, it is estimated to possess a mass 10 to 40 times greater than Jupiter, an astronomical body of tremendous proportions whose gravity tore apart its satellites, giving birth to this awe-inspiring spectacle. There exists another theory suggesting that J1407 is not a gas giant, but rather an incomplete protostar that failed to attain the status of a brown dwarf. At present, the scientific community has yet to reach a consensus on the proper classification of such objects. Supporting this hypothesis is the fact that J1407 follows an orbital path around its host star, as opposed to revolving around a mutual center of gravity, as observed in a binary star system. What adds to the intrigue is that these colossal rings possess a combined mass of a mere 7.34 x 10 carat 21 tons, a number that, while impressive, is comparable to Earth's mass of 5.9 x 10 carat 21 tons. Within the history of J1407, numerous astonishing and disconcerting events may have occurred, with one possibility being the collision with a satellite of substantial mass, perhaps equivalent to that of a celestial body between Earth and Mars. This encounter would have left a noticeable gap in the rings of J1407 b enabling scientists to make this remarkable discovery. Utilizing the transit observation method, scientists not only determine the size, but also the precise position of the rings encircling the planet. Witness the awe-inspiring visualization of Saturn's rings, a truly magnificent sight. One can only imagine the breathtaking view that would greet us if we were situated on J1407 or one of its satellites, a sight that would undoubtedly leave our jaws dropped in sheer amazement. Now, let us embark on a journey closer to our cosmic neighborhood. Roughly 80 light years away from the sun lies an entity deserving the title of one of the loneliest objects in the universe. The planet with the complex name PSOG318.5-22 possesses a unique attribute. It does not orbit a star. PSOG318 belongs to a distinctive classification of planets known as rogue planets, colloquially referred to as orphans or nomads. These wandering planets were expelled from their original planetary systems, now drifting aimlessly through the vast emptiness of space. Ironically, the absence of a glaring star has played into the hands of astronomers, enabling them to directly observe the radiance emitted by PSOG 318 without it being overshadowed by a host star. The utilization of the PAN STARRS 1 1 pound Panoramic Survey Telescope facilitated the capture of hundreds of infrared photographs, unveiling the planet's colossal size, eight times larger than our Jupiter and significantly brighter too. Fluctuations in brightness indicated that PSOG 318 undergoes a complete rotation every five hours and possesses several layers of dense and thin clouds enveloped in an atmosphere with temperatures reaching approximately 1470 degrees Fahrenheit, 800 degrees Celsius. Surveillance conducted by a group of astronomers employing cutting-edge technology at the European Southern Observatory in Chile has even enabled the creation of one of the first somewhat accurate weather forecasts for a celestial body beyond our solar system. And now for a quick weather report. Expect a warm and cloudy day, marred by dust storms traveling at speeds surpassing the sound barrier, with the possibility of molten iron rain as precipitation. The estimated age of the planet is approximately 12 million years. Scientists remain uncertain about the exact formation mechanisms of such planets, theorizing that they may have originated as failed stars, gas giants, many times the size of Jupiter, or planets expelled from young planetary systems due to gravitational interactions with other celestial bodies. Once cut off from their gravitational influences, these rogue planets never return to their original systems and continue their drift through space until they are captured by the gravitational pull of another star system.
Consequently, the classification of PSOG 318 and similar planets poses a conundrum, with many scientists referring to them as sub-brown dwarfs, alluding to their transitional state. Not quite a star, but not precisely a gas giant either, at least according to our current understanding. Although records of numerous rogue planets exist, our exploration of these incredible interstellar objects is merely in its infancy. In the future, we can anticipate being astounded by further revelations concerning their extraordinary properties. Moving onward, we encounter a celestial spectacle known as WAS-12 Bits, a planet aptly labeled as doomed by the scientific community. Setting foot on its surface is an impossibility for a multitude of reasons, primarily due to the planet's relentless disintegration caused by its host star. Piece by piece, it is torn apart and cast into the outer reaches of space. Was 12 bits, characterized as a gas giant with a radius twice that of Jupiter, distinguishes itself from its distant cousin by completing a full orbit around its host star in a mere 24 hours. Such immense speeds subject the planet's surface to unfathomable tidal forces, resulting in substantial distortion. Indeed, calculations by scientists confirm that WASP-12 bits assumes an egg-like shape rather than a spherical form. Astronomers estimate that the planet will be unable to withstand such torment for much longer, likely disintegrating entirely within a maximum time frame of 10 million years. Its remnants will give rise to a gas and dust cloud, gradually consumed by the voracious appetite of the star. Additionally, the planet's interaction with its star accelerates its disintegration, a phenomenon previously believed to occur solely between stars. The case of WASP-12 bits represents the first confirmed instance of such an exchange happening with an exoplanet. These gravitational dynamics intensify the planet's temperature, soaring to a blistering 4100 degrees Fahrenheit, 2260 degrees Celsius rendering any possibility of life on its surface obsolete. However, five years after its discovery, the Hubble telescope employed spectroscopy to detect signs of a water stream, a remarkable finding considering the inhospitable conditions prevailing on this planet. Another astounding discovery points to the potential presence of a solid surface composed of graphite and diamonds, owing to the high concentration and density of carbon in the planet's composition. While some media outlets have dubbed WASP-12 bits the diamond planet, scientists lean toward the notion that the majority of carbon exists in the planet's atmosphere as carbon monoxide and methane. Furthermore, research conducted in 2012 indicated the possibility of a satellite orbiting WASP-12 bits, labeled as WASP-12 buon. Its estimated radius is approximately 6.4 times that of Earth's, a size three times smaller than the radius of the planet itself. What conditions prevail on the surface of its satellite, we can only speculate. Presumably, they are not much better than those experienced by its torn apart neighbor. Moving on to the next enigmatic planet, let's delve into the realm of the formidable hot bee, formerly known as Dagon. This distant world sparks intrigue as it was initially considered non-existent. Are you captivated? Then let us explore further. We shall travel back to 2004 when the Hubble telescope uncovered a colossal cold debris disk comprising gas and dust. The scientific community was abuzz with theories regarding this object, including estimations of its size, which hinted at a magnitude three times that of Jupiter. However, scientists had yet to catch a glimpse of this massive planet, rumored to orbit Fomalhaut, one of the brightest stars in our night sky. Situated a mere 25 light years away and boasting a radius twice that of the sun, Fomalhaut intrigued researchers. However, Dagon exhibited perplexing behavior, defying conventional expectations. Over time, the object's velocity continued to increase, leading to heightened speculation. Finally, in 2008, an image of Dagon was captured causing a sensation within the scientific community. It was soon evident that the planet was considerably smaller than previously assumed, with a mass somewhere between Earth and Mars. The faint glow of Dagon in the infrared spectrum, coupled with its inability to influence the debris rings surrounding Fomalhaut, 
indicated a relatively low mass. Moreover, its brightness diminished as its size grew, and its orbital movement did not align with predicted data. Scientists found themselves at an impasse, encountering a celestial anomaly beyond anything witnessed before. In 2014, Dakin decided to confound scientists further and simply vanished. Despite consistent observations in previous years, beginning in 2008, the planet gradually increased in size and dimmed until it eventually vanished altogether. These events contradicted all existing knowledge about exoplanets. Consequently, researchers were compelled to reevaluate the data and arrived at a groundbreaking conclusion. Dagon never existed as a planet. The new theory proposed suggests that the object initially mistaken for an exoplanet was, in fact, a slowly dissipating dust cloud formed as a result of a massive collision between two asteroids or embryonic planets. This discovery holds even greater significance due to the rarity of collisions between small celestial bodies. This collision likely occurred in 2004 while the Hubble telescope was surveying the region surrounding Fomalhaut. The dissipation of dust over time explains the increase in the object's size and decrease in brightness. Additionally, the resulting dust cloud accounts for the object's eccentric orbit. Thus, a series of extraordinary coincidences perplexed astronomers and gave rise to a captivating legend surrounding the peculiar and unpredictable planet, Dagon. This enigmatic entity does not conform to the characteristics of a typical planet, displaying neither the typical movement nor an elliptical orbit around a host star. Instead, it follows a trajectory leading it farther away from the star. Although Fomalhaut lost its exoplanet status, there is no cause for discouragement. Countless known and confirmed X-worlds await our exploration, each bound to astonish us with their terrifying yet incredible attributes. Now, let us embark on a journey to a planet that witnessed the genesis of our universe, the incredible world of Caption B, a mere 13 light years away. However, its age is estimated at a staggering 11.5 billion years, approximately two and a half times older than Earth, and a mere two billion years younger than the universe itself. We are not only impressed by the planet's age, but also by the countless events that may have transpired on its surface throughout its existence. What sets Caption B apart is its host star, classified as a red subdwarf, emitting an anomalous luminosity spectrum due to its age. Radiating nearly 250 times less light than our sun and possessing a quarter of the sun's mass, the star places Caption B within its habitable zone, despite its close proximity. In fact, the planet orbits a mere 0.168 astronomical units away from its star, closer even than the distance between the Sun and Mercury. Theoretical calculations indicate that the surface temperature permits liquid water, ranging from negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 50 degrees Celsius, on the dark side to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius, on the star-facing side. These factors contribute to the Earth Similarity Index, ESI, of Caption B, which at the time of this video's release stands at 0.67, similar to planets such as Koi-4, Koi-4005-1, and Kepler-62f, considered potential candidates for harboring extraterrestrial life forms. Naturally, age alone does not guarantee the emergence of life forms. However, it significantly increases the likelihood of habitability. The formation of life is a complex and protracted process. If 4.5 billion years were sufficient for life to evolve to the point where you are currently watching this video, then 11.5 billion years on Caption B may have been ample time for the development of microorganisms. Perhaps ancient life forms observed us closely for countless years.